Hi guys, I'm Revolve. Welcome to part two of this Composer series. This is how to use auto loading with Composer. So a prerequisite to this video, to fully comprehend this tutorial, please watch the first video in this series. There should be an annotation on screen now. Click it and it should take you to the first video. Composer needs to be installed on your machine for you to be able to follow along with this. Also, you will need a local host and it needs to be set up on your machine. A basic understanding of Apache vHost if you prefer to use virtual hosts rather than running your PHP via the terminal. So this is what we're going to do here. First we're going to set up our project. Again, you, this is optional. You can set up a virtual host and all you need to do is configure the Apache file and configure your hosts file. Um, if you don't want to do that, you can just run it via the terminal. Number two, create your actual PHP files. Number three, you will need a PHP uh, class with a method in it. Number four, you will need a file calling a method from that class. Then we're going to set up Composer. We're going to create a composer.json file. We're going to leave a pair of curly braces there, leave it empty, and then run Composer install. This won't pull any packages in since we didn't declare any, but it will create the auto load files. So then we're going to set up our auto loading. We're going to use PSR4 as our convention. This is just a standard that specifies how we auto load our files. We're then going to declare namespaces and run composer dump auto load. Okay guys, just to speed things up a bit, I've already set up a vhost and um, you know made my edit to my host files. So just to show you, here it is. All I'm doing is just um, document root is php dash auto load uh, also loading and server name is dev dot php auto loading dot code uk this is in my apache config etc uh, vhost file and then in my host file i, I just need 127.0.0.1 and then um, the url again dev dot php also loading dot code uk so you can see here i've already got a browser open with um, the url Obviously, there's nothing there because we have no files. So let's change that. Let's start creating some files. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create an index.php. And that's going to be empty for now. Index.php. We're then going to create a folder here. We're going to call it new folder. It's going to be called source because that's going to house all our classes. We're going to create a new file here. I'm going to save that as animal.php. So this is going to be our PHP class and let's call it animal. Put a method in here. I'm going to call that, let's say, raw. Call public function raw. And I like having my braces down. We're going to call, let's say we're going to return raw did heavy damage. Okay, back in index of PHP. If you're coming from procedural programming, you're probably used to this. And we're going to require it by going source animal dot PHP. And let's say we can create a new, uh, we can instantiate the object here and say animal equals new animal and then we're going to run the method we're going to echo out um, animal raw okay so when we refresh the page yes we get raw did heavy damage so that is the old way of doing it now we're going to auto load the class so to auto load the class the first thing we're going to do is create a new file in the root and call it composer.json Right, that's strange. New file. Save composer.json. There we go. So, curly braces. And we're going to leave this empty for now. Save that. And then in our terminal, we're going to run composer. Just to let you know, we are in C, Zap, HDDocs, PHP, also loading. So, we are in the same directory. Composer install. 
there you go so just to let you know remember that's not going to pull any packages in because obviously we didn't declare anything but it's going to create our vendor folder with our also load.php file great so let's go back to composer.json the first thing we're going to say is let's configure our also load also load it and then we're going to say okay composer please we want to use the psr4 convention next we're going to declare our root namespace now what is a namespace so if you look at our source folder here this could grow to have a bunch of classes in it okay and let's think of it this way if you had a collection of music and you had it all under one folder so all your songs into one folder it became it can become very cluttered and you will probably have um, name problems so you know certain songs share the same name so what you would probably want to do is organize that by artist or organize it by genre and we could say the same for our classes we probably will have um, name clashes and we'd want to organize and sort it so for now think of auto loading and namespaces just to use to organize our classes and prevent name clashes okay so now back to our root namespace so what we want to do is create a namespace of pretty much sort of a folder to house certain things so we're going to say okay acme is going to be you can use your business name or you can use your project name um, that's a good convention to go by but right now i'm just going to say acme I'm going to put two backslashes you need to put that in and then i'm going to say okay composer the directory that houses all my classes is source right so for this to work we need to declare our namespaces in our files so we're going to say okay we want animal to go in the uh, namespace that we just declared so we're going to say namespace at me good now we're going to say composer dump also load you can use dump dash or just dump auto load both do the same thing and um, great so now in our composer folder we should have also load psr4 it has acme base directory and then source great so right now we've made our changes to our namespace and if we have to refresh yep it gives us an error that says class animal not found so we go back to your index.php we can get rid of require and now we just have to reference it under the namespace we go acme backslash animal refresh that and great it still does not work and the reason for that is because we need to require the auto load file so we only need to do this once per project so that can this can go like in your index or PHP file and we're going to say vendor forward slash auto load dot PHP so basically we want to include this file here okay let's hit refresh on our page and great now we have raw did heavy damage so great we are now actually also loading our class and let's separate this out further let's say we want to create a new file here call it um, fight.php and we can just talk, copy our code here or actually cut our code and open PHP paste it so let's just require it here we're going to say require fight dot php so look at that it's fine and we're gonna refresh and great it still works now you can ask okay well what happens if i have five classes do i all have to do they all have to be prefixed with acme no they don't we can use something called use and we can say acme backslash animal get rid of this prefix here refresh the page good and now it still works so thanks for watching guys that should clear up all your questions on 
how to auto load files. If you do have anything, please submit them in the question in the comments below and please like and subscribe. Thanks.